Hey everyone, so today I'm going to discuss with you the solution to this question. Well, this is a very simple and nice question and uh, this involves two important concepts from calculus. One is called as a fundamental theorem of calculus and one is called as a chain rule. Okay, and one basic which is nothing but the concept of inverse of a function. So I'm going to use this three concept to find g dash of zero. Meanwhile, you can pause the video and think about the solution because I have already given you the hint that what concepts one has to use. Okay, so think over it, pause the video and think over it. Meanwhile, let me start the solution. Okay, so the first concept I would like to tell you is about the inverse of a function. Now, when do I say g is the inverse of f? If I take the composition of g and f, what do I get? I get is the identity function. That means what g compose f of x is nothing but i of x. But i is the identity function. This is what you mean by inverse of a function. The second thing that I need to use is fundamental theorem of calculus. So I will post the link in the description. You can have a look. What does the theorem says? If you have a nice function, f is continuous and differentiable, and I'm integrating from a to x, a is a constant, x is a variable. And if I take the derivative of this function with respect to x, then this is nothing but the integrand itself. Okay, so you can say derivative integration gets cancelled, you get the integrand. Not a good way to write, but for understanding purpose, it's okay. And the third thing is I'm going to use the chain rule for the composition of functions. So question is what is g compose f derivative? Okay. Now see what is g compose f? It is nothing but you take the derivative of g into the derivative of f. This is what the chain rule is. Okay. So once you know these three things, the problem is now pretty much simpler. Now what is given to you? G is inverse of f, right? That means g compose of f is nothing but x itself. That means g of f of x is nothing but x. Now you take the derivative on both sides. So by composition, chain rule for composition, derivative of g compose f is nothing but this value. Derivative of x is 1. Okay. Now what is f dash of x? Again by chain rule, see what is your function? Let me write on the next page. My f of x or f of t is nothing but integration 2 to x dt upon square root of 1 plus t raised to 4. So what is my so this is f of x so what is f dash of x so derivative of integration is nothing but the integrand so this is what i get over here so what is this this is 1 upon root of 1 plus x raised to 4 equal to 1 okay now what i want to find i want to find g dash of 0 i want to find g dash of 0 okay so now from here i think you should get the answer but okay, let me try to complete over here. So this is equal to root of 1 plus x raised to 4. Now I want here 0. So what x should I take so that my f of x will be 0? Okay, now see, what is my uh, f of x? f of x is this. So if I take x equal to 2, what is my f of 2? Integration 2 to 2, right? When I take x equal to 2, here also we have 2. And here, whatever it let it be, whenever the upper and lower limits are same, your answer is always 0. Okay. So here you put x equal to 2. So what you get is g dash of f of 2 is nothing but root of 1 plus 2 raised to 4. And therefore, g dash of 0 is square root of 70. So I hope you liked and understood this video. If yes, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.